Hi again. Today we're going to make some kirigami flowers. Kirigami is the Japanese art of cut paper. To make your flowers, all you need is paper and scissors, maybe a pencil, maybe a crayon. The paper needs to be square. So if you are using paper from your printer, all you need to do is to fold one corner down diagonally until it lines up with the outside edge of the paper. Fold it nicely. And then that little strip of paper across the bottom, you just cut out and then you'll have a square. The kirigami is nice to make with colored paper, but construction paper might be too heavy a paper for you to work with. So if you want to color some paper quickly, what I did was um, the same thing when we made our patterned paper is I just took one of my squares of paper. I took a crayon that's unwrapped and with the side, I'm just holding my paper and rubbing out to the edges. And it doesn't have to be perfect, but it gives your paper some color. If you have some kind of thinner colored paper at home, that would work too. Or you could even find pages from magazines that are colorful or have patterns on them. Cut them into squares and they'll work too. Let's get started. Remember, we're starting with a square piece of paper, so if you have a rectangle, you need to fold down diagonally, line up the side, and then cut off the strip to make that square. So my square is folded in half diagonally. I'm putting the longest side on the bottom, and now I'm folding in half like a book. Putting the longest side of the triangle on the bottom. Now I need to fold it in thirds, so I have to take each side and overlap them and try to make sure they're even. So don't fold right away. You might have to play with it a little bit to get those thirds folded just right. And then when you're ready, you can press down your seams. The kirigami paper will look like an arrowhead. Now flip it over and you'll see an edge. Everything past that edge, you just snip right off. Now this is a kirigami base that you could make snowflakes with, but we're going to make sure that they look more like flowers. So with a pencil, or you could just cut it freehand, you're going to cut a little um, pencil point off the bottom and you're going to make either a single flower petal or a kind of a flying V seagull shape, one higher, one lower, to make um, more flower petals that are longer and shorter. So now I'm just cutting that flower petal edge and the pencil point. That'll make a, a round center for the flower. And then on the sides, I'm just cutting some random shapes. If you hold your scissors open wider, it'll give you better leverage for cutting through all the um, folds of the paper. And then open it up and see your flower. So this was when we drew a single flower petal at the top of the um, triangle. Here's the little double flower petals. One a little taller and one a little shorter. Cutting the center so you get that round um, hole in the middle of the flower. And then any kind of shapes on the sides. They don't have to be too big. And you could experiment with maybe just a few shapes or more shapes. One larger shape or a lot of smaller shapes to get different designs. I hope you had fun making some wonderful kirigami flowers. I said I would show you some in different kinds of paper. So here's some that I did in my origami practice paper, colored on one side. Here's a piece that I made with the uh, crayon rubbed on printer paper. And here's a couple that I made from magazine pages that I cut into squares. These are another great project that you can hang in the window and share with your neighbors and friends to let them know that you're doing well and you wish them well. Hope you had a good time. See you soon. Bye.